Come on, I know you're home. Open the door. I have a warrant. Open up. What the? It is only by forgetting that we ever really drop the thread of time and approach the experience of living in the present moment. These are the words that were constantly revolving around my head as I reached the conclusion of this time-looping point-and-click adventure. Even after spending almost 10 hours in a small apartment, 12 minutes has so much left to offer in terms of secrets that I'm tempted to jump back in and do it all over again. Before we go ahead, a quick request. We upload new videos every single day and your subscription matters a lot. So please consider subscribing and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. With that out of the way, let's begin. 12 minutes drops you into the seemingly mundane life of the protagonist, who returns to a small apartment to be greeted by a loving wife who has prepared a special dessert for the evening. A few minutes later, a cop barges through the door and poses an immediate threat to the family with his dominating presence, and immediately handcuffs the couple. Soon, the time loop resets, and it's up to you to uncover the myriad of secrets buried deep within this story and eventually break the time loop. What the hell just happened? Best night ever. Guess who made dessert? Let me know when you're in the mood. Didn't you already say that? What? Um, I, I, I don't know. What? But, no. The story itself is great, brilliantly juxtaposing a time loop with a grounded plot revolving around love and family without overpowering one another. It's always a treat to uncover a new secret that could potentially change the narrative and relationships of the people involved, which is a great motivator to keep going when all hope seems lost. The writing is equally great, which is magnificently brought to life by the star-studded cast of James McAvoy, Daisy Ridley, and Willem Dafoe. I'm with the police. Turn around, please. What? Me? Yes, you. Hands behind your back. Let's go. Hold still. There are a number of emotionally evocative moments hidden beneath this time-looping story, and the cast does a great job of doing justice to it at a consistent pace. That being said, there are a few dialogue options that are quite rigid and lead to premature resets of the time loop in some of the most unlikely situations, which can be immersion-breaking at times. An interesting point about 12 Minutes' story is that it's told in a non-linear fashion, as some secrets that advance the plot further can be found out of order, which remains quite interesting until the very end. There's also a pinch of this non-linearity found in the way that players manage to unearth these clues, which remains a treat in a similar vein. That being said, it can also be a double-edged sword at times, considering the game doesn't provide a lot of hints as to what needs to be done in order to get further in the plot. There was also more than one instance during the later hours where I found myself completely clueless because I left out a seemingly insignificant detail during the earlier parts, which of course held huge ramifications for the future. 12 Minutes gameplay is standard point-and-click adventure stuff, and players must interact with the surrounding environment and combine items to uncover new and interesting scenarios that further advance the plot. Much like the story, the puzzles themselves are pretty grounded in their scope. Point-and-click adventures have a reputation for including nonsensical puzzles at times, but 12 Minutes does a great job sidestepping many of those tropes with smart design. This is further accentuated by the fact that 12 Minutes relies a lot on its environment for creating obstacles and opportunities, and players are encouraged to manipulate the knowledge of these environments to shift the flow of proceedings during a time loop, which feels eerily similar to something like Hitman. The environment itself is a pretty small space, being an apartment boasting just a drawing room, a bathroom, and a bedroom. It's really surprising to witness the amount of detail and possibilities present within this space, and all of this is achieved without the game world itself feeling too cramped. The time players spend within these four walls is also a significant element, which clocks in at, well, 12 minutes. Furthermore, players can advance the time accordingly as they learn more about the narrative, which further decreases the time sink required to see a single run to completion. 
This creates a pretty addictive gameplay loop of just one more run, which is absolutely vital to the pacing since not every run will bear fruit. Progression in 12 minutes comes in a number of subtle ways, such as dialogue options evolving to reflect your current knowledge of the time loop and associated characters. This alleviates a lot of concern that crops up when replaying the same scenario over and over again, but does give rise to another problem that could prove to be detrimental for some. As players progress through the narrative, a few scenarios holding crucial information get locked out. If you miss any related details and hints, you might be left perplexed after a while since you wouldn't obviously have all the pieces to solve this recurring puzzle. A ship log system like Mobius Digital's Outer Wilds could have done wonders here, displaying all the relevant information in a single place that could have helped you plan your next move. <coughs> Twelve Minutes looks quite gorgeous, featuring a clean art style with great use of lighting and reflection through the small environment. The textures and environment also look equally detailed, and animations are equally confident for most actions. The sound design is also great, albeit a little understated to reflect the actions within the game. It starts out slow and somber, and slowly and steadily rises in intensity as players progress through the time loop. Twelve Minutes isn't a very long game. As mentioned before, it took me just under 10 hours to complete the story and roll the credits. However, that's not the end since there are a number of secrets, both major and minor, that are still left to be uncovered. There are many possibilities of achieving a goal, and as you explore the intricacies of this world, you will find out much more efficient ways of performing the same feat in subsequent runs. As highlighted by the developers, 12 minutes can be a pretty lengthy ordeal if players want to hunt down all achievements and hidden scenarios and secrets. Fans looking to do so might be looking at anywhere up to 20 hours of content, which is pretty astonishing once you consider that the game takes place in such a small world. 12 Minutes is a thrill ride through and through, constantly presenting players with new and interesting revelations in the time loop narrative that never fails to keep on guessing. It veers away from stereotypical point-and-click adventure tropes and challenges players to bend its densely detailed environments to achieve their goals. It's not a perfect game by any stretch, but gets so much right that players even vaguely interested in its premise should definitely give this game a go. You took my things. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so, what are your thoughts on this? Go ahead and share them in the comments below. And if you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon to get new video updates. We upload every day and would really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.